Do you ever find yourself looking at some of your decor and saying, it's definitely time to remake or reimagine this? And that's exactly what I'm going to do. I would like to thank Jannie and Diane for sponsoring this fun monthly challenge. You'll have to check out their channel. You will love what you see. This is my spring is in bloom, part two of my 20. 21 series. Welcome to my channel Pretty Inspired Decor. My name is Shelley and today, my first time joining Sunday Fun Day, I wanted to show you how I'm going to take this wreath form that I've had for three years. You've already seen what it used to look like and I'm going to show how I remake it into something that I can use for spring and certainly for summer as well. So let's get started. The materials that you'll need for this project, I'm using two long stem pieces of greenery. These are pieces that I've had for a number of years at Michael's. And I'm also using a total of five of these really rosy peony stems that Michael has. And I've already cut some of the stems down. And I'm also using zip ties. I like to use the clear ones and I use some of these little tiny green ones as well. So I'm actually going to stop, you know, talking through this part of the video. I will dub in my voice because I don't want, you know, you to see every little detail because it does take some time, but I will certainly explain what I'm doing in a voiceover. The first thing I do is I take the piece of greenery and bend it to make it work on the heart wreath. Now this heart wreath was purchased at Michael's over three years Michael's ago. Michael's does have it again this year. It's in a whitewashed finish and it's really pretty as well. So if you really want to make this project, you can certainly make that magic happen by just popping over to Michael's and looking in their Easter section. So now I'm adding the next piece of greenery on and you'll notice that I use zip ties. Now, of course you could use floral wire, you could use uh, pipe cleaners, but I really love using zip ties because it makes everything stay so easily. And you know, once you've got them on, you just clip off your ends and you end up with something that is there and it's, you know, works beautifully. Now I'm just adding on my first set of florals, placing them how I think I want them to go, and again, attaching them with some zip ties. You'll notice that I'm using the combination of both white and green. I really love the green more than the white, but sometimes I do need the white just because it's a little bit thicker and a little bit longer. And if I'm joining more than one piece of uh, floral or greenery together. Sometimes I need the longer pieces, but I ultimately end up hiding it all anyway. So you'll notice that what I'm doing here is I'm adding, you know, yet another one of the florals, again using my heavier zip ties. These zip ties, I just, I buy them at Dollarama here in Canada. I highly recommend that if you're a crafter that you use them because, you know, they just make your project so much easier than using glue and it's also easier on your fingers than using floral wire. So I've attached, I'm looking out to attach the fourth set of florals and you'll notice that I'm now beginning to place items and joining two different pieces with only one zip tie. Not using as many makes, I mean, obviously it's a little bit cheaper, but you don't have as many to hide if you can work in just using, you know, one rather than two in some specific spots. You'll also notice that as I'm cutting the ends, I'm taking a look at it and deciding where I should put this final fifth piece. And I quite like it going, you know, in the direction up. Two of the uh, peonies are going downwards and the other three are 
going upwards and I really like the overall look of that. Now that I have everything attached, I'm putting it on my wreath holder and now I'm just sort of fluffing things around. The glory with these um, particular peonies from Michaels is that the stems can easily and the leaves can easily be manipulated so that everything faces forward. So that's really what I'm doing now is I'm manipulating the leaves so that nothing looks awkward or backward. Almost like what you would do, you know, with any floral arrangement that you do, that you create, because you really want it to look polished and finished. Now, because I am going to actually display this on this wreath stand, I'm just attaching the bottom so it's not so flippy. And then I'm taking a step back and I notice that I have to add yet another zip tie at the top to keep the peonies down just a bit. I mean, like you, I have to step back and take a look at things and make sure that I like what I'm seeing. Adding the zip ties, you know, to the wreath once it's on a wreath holder actually make things a little bit easier. Once I took a look at it, I, I also decided I wanted to add some more greenery and the greenery that I'm adding is a faux eucalyptus and they're really quite small bunches but I love the colors in them. They're you know sort of a grayed green with touches of pink and if you're new to my channel you will soon realize that I am a lover of pink and for those of you who come back week over week to watch my videos you're not surprised that I add pink to pretty much everything that this I do. Was stuck away in the garage, you know, obviously covered in a bag and hadn't been used for three years. I kept thinking, I need to do something with it. And it really wasn't until this year when I found these really rosy peonies that I thought, I know exactly what I want to do with it. If you have not already done so, I would certainly appreciate it if you would subscribe and thank you if you do and thank you if you already have. Hit that. Um, like button and don't forget to hit the notification bell as well so you get notification of our future videos. I hope you come back next week because next week we are celebrating Harold's birthday. Yes, his birthday might have been in January but we were not able to get together until now. Things are opening up in Ontario and so we are able to get together as a family so I will have a really pretty spring tablescape ready to celebrate his birthday. And so until we see each other again next time, bye-bye. And what a better place to display that pretty wreath with the little bunnies and the florals and an additional bunny from Michael's. Oh yes, I love that way up high in our kitchen. It's an eye catcher and when people pop by, and I certainly hope they'll be able to pop by soon. I hope they look up and go, oh, that is so pretty. Janny and Diane have created a playlist. I hope you check out that playlist. Now, YouTube has been having some problems with the playlist. I will attempt to have it linked below but if you check out hashtag Sunday Fun Day, I'm sure you'll find the other participants.